Hey everybody inside the room, welcome back to Shining Song, Storm of Then last we left off, I was remembering at the time to record videos, mostly. <laughs> and that stopped. That isn't that fucking wonderful. Oh, anyway. Last we left off, what I actually remember is, yeah. We're about to have a fun little meeting between producer son and I suspect Evil Shields. <sighs> Bizarro World, Captain Kato Shields. I walked up to one of the staffers and asked because whoever was in charge. However, I had no idea that person would end up being him. <laughs> the bane of the reds. There we go. Good day, son of his producer son. And my apologies for our intrusion into your <clears throat> adjust glasses. Little event. Come and show gave a derisive not so much a derisive look as it's crazy eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. And I don't mean in the sexual way. Although for me it might be. <laughs> Vork. Come and show to gave a derisive look at our minimalistic setup. Photo shoot. True, comparable to his 50 plus staff members, we had the appearance of a bunch of school kids holding a little cosplay shoot. But I couldn't back down. After all, we had, the prop we had properly booked our time here as well, so we had every right to be here. No, no, uh, to think we would share a location with the Great Quasar, it's truly an honor. Uh, yeah, kiss that ass. Although, I mean, being diplomatic isn't necessarily, it's all about tone, I suppose. The two of us battle each other. Ah, oh, that reminds me, I hear you're taking care of our Maria now. That's right. Uh, as expected of an ex-Quasar, she's already shaping up to be a fine general manager. We're great for all that you've done for her in the past. Is that so? I look forward to seeing what you do with her. Mm-hmm. As well as all your other girls. What, Amvi? And I fucking... Amvi. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Be a further step down, I suppose. Absolutely no dignity there at all. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad person. Of course, we'll have big things planned for the future. Uh, but in regards to today's photo shoot... It is a fact that we had this area reserved for this time slot. Surely a mistake cannot have ma uh, been made in regards to the shoot schedule? A mistake? A foul thing that would be. No, no, no. It was just bribery. The five front row girls of Quasar rent to Kamejo, prompting the seven girls of Starnova to walk up behind me as well. Tension hung in the air as we momentarily faced each other down. Kamejo sama, it seems like our camera staff is not scheduled to arrive for another hour. I see. Kamajo turned to face me. It appears our event coordinator is a zealous man who overprepares by ensuring we arrive for our photo shoots an hour ahead of schedule. You have my apologies, Prusasan. We shall interfere no further with your efforts. We were fully planning on interfering beforehand, but we're now we're prepared, so. <laughs> no, these things happen all the time when you're assholes. With that, Kamajo turned around and motioned everyone to pack up back to pa it back to pack back up. The girls and the staff members turned around and headed back to their bus without a single question. Shira gave one last smile at Maria as she walked away. As soon as the Quasar people were gone, Aki angrily stomped the ground. <laughs> Frustrating. Coming here and acting like they're the boss when it was all their mistake. Uh, uh, we gotta beat them at the Grand Prix, that'll show them. No way, no way, no way. Are you a fucking idiot? There's no way we could take on Quasar. I apparently grew up on their stuff. They're like the idle unit of idle units. You know their catchphrase? The light of the center of the galaxy? Yeah, it makes Sagittarius weep. All the stars revolve around us? Well, I'm sorry to say it, but all that's literally the truth. We put in much bottom feeders compared to them. Cool. I know all that. It's a little grin you got going. But their attitude still annoys me. Uh, are you alright, Maria? D don't let the words get to you. Nah, I'm fine. This is bound to happen one day anyways. It's true I still have some baggage left over at Quasar. Anyways, we got a location back for the hour. Let's not waste any more time. The fuck was that? Why, right, producer, quit days and then get the shoot started up again. Right. Uh, girls, let's wrap this up in an hour and get going before we interfere with Quasar's shoot. Hi. We wouldn't want to be hypocrites now, would we? Or give them any chance to gloat and be insipid little assholes. <laughs> Return to the yellow screen. Interesting. I've never paid attention to the color of the computer screen. Hmm. Return to the office at the finishing of the photo shoot. Good work, everyone. Plenty of nudes were taken today. They'll make plenty of money in the black market. Take the next few days off for a bond till the event at the Anima 
at the anime's store. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what we should do for Julie Chan's birthday. Huh. What else would an idol turning a year older do? Drink your worries away, that's what. Oh, Maria, pat pat. <laughs> Nihilistic, poor, callous, shriveled soul. You got the idea. Should we go to a nightclub? A, 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 a club, but too much for my innocent little heart. Brown eyes here would just completely lose it. <laughs> what? You've never been to a club before, Sister Sean? And what you have? I mean, I forgot how old you actually are, but I'm pretty sure even if you were age appropriate, they'd still card you. If you, I'd be surprised if they got far enough to card you, or even if they'd even believe you if you handed in your ID. Like they just look at it and go, look at the, uh, look at your card, look at you. No, this is this is fake. Get out. I've never been interested in things like that. Well, wait, Aki Chan, you're not even old to go to a place like that. Okay, so she's not Aki, right? I keep forgetting how old Aki actually is. Don't worry, I only know it's not 16. It's not a problem. La la la, la I was definitely hearing this. I mean, some places will let you go. Well, there are some locations will allow you to go into uh, bars as long as you're stamped. At least from where I live. They'll just stamp your hand if you're underage, and you, that way they, they'll not have to sell you any, you know, hard beverages, but, you know, any kind of soda, water, what the fuck ever, as long as it's not alcohol, it's fine. You can go there and, like, play pool or some shit, no. Sneaking to a club alone at the age of 20. <laughs> nope, as if such a thing could ever happen. I had no idea. I'm innocent in all this. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no. I, I, I can't say I've been to a club either. What is this club you speak of? It's, it's, okay. It, it, it. <laughs> Mika? It's not like an online guild, okay? It's not your Final Fantasy XIV free company. It's not this fuck it is. Not time to have been one either. <laughs> all right, it's decided. Let's all go clubbing. N no way. I thought we'd go to a sweets cafe or something. Oh, poor soul. <laughs> what are you, a middle school or something? I mean, honestly, that sounds fine to me too. <laughs> Probably way more. Well, I guess it depends on where you're going. I was gonna say be more, well, more relaxed, but okay, relaxed. Different from casual, the other way that popped in my head. That's not the same thing. They can interlink. They do not need to, by definition. As expected, the lamb is Darnova. Okay. I shook my head as the girls spoke amongst themselves. Don't get into too much trouble. You're in vacation now. Oi. <laughs> oh, God. July 19th, the evening. Okay, what are we doing back in your room? And yet, on the eve of Julie, Julie's birthday, no, no, my cell vibrated as, as, I, as it received a message. I flipped it on and saw a text from Julie. No, I produce a song. Where are you? We're waiting at Rope, uh, Ropongi for you. I didn't realize that I was going to get involved. I figured we'd just have a cut scene with y'all in it. Eh? Was it only for me of all people? How drunk are they yet? Did they automatically just assume I'd be there too? I texted back. Eh? I thought it was a girl's night out. You guys can enjoy yourselves without me. No way! Come on! You gotta be here too! Angry emoji. What was this? And here I thought I would just make things awkward if I were there. That's what I would assume too. It's like, hey, <laughs> your boss there is supposed to make sure you're not getting into trouble. <laughs> I'm not ruining your image. A moment later, I see the text from Sasami. Please come help me! <laughs> Producer San, I I'm sorry, but the girls are saying they're gonna keep drinking until you show up. <laughs> You for real? They just gonna get wasted, <laughs> making Sasami nervous in the process. <laughs> Guilt trip reduces Sasami by having her freak out. My cell vibrated as, was, as I received the photo of Aki in front of a fishbowl of what I presumed was just fruit juice and definitely not some kind of intoxicating beverage. <laughs> I dropped my cell phone and shook my head. I almost thought I was gonna say I dropped my cell phone and ran out the door. Clearly I had been way too lax with them, and they had all forgotten what I was supposed to be the one forcing the night agency's rules. Pet can't hardly talk. What are those girls doing? Ellipse seeing was what you're doing, I mean. Oh, hello. And yet, we got some smooth jazz going. I found myself at the club with the girls beckoning. Ah, uh, of course this would be how things turned out. This is just the rule of the world. There was no way a man on this planet was going to be able to resist the temptation to show after being invited to party by seven pretty girls. 
And I'm certain Mr. Upright, upstand, upright, Upstanding Producer Son, man, that the fact that they might be getting wasted has absolutely nothing to do with it at all, right? In the end, even I was a man, a mortal, a mere flawed soul, oh, bound to this earth, feeble, and succumbing easily to temptation. I shoved myself to where the girls were gathered. <laughs> Julia ran up with me with a loud squeal and wrapped her arms around me. Yeah, but it's the sun's in the house! Uh, yeah. Happy birthday. Her face is already looking pale and she had the stupid expression of being junk and she's all blushy blushy. The rest of the girls were seated at their table. Honey, Duh, don't! Especially when you're drinking, that's just even weirder. By the time you shut up, Oni-chan, how's it getting to wonder whether you decided to dish us? Judging from the empty fishbowl in front of Aki, she was definitely having a sugar rush from chugging all that juice and was definitely not drunk. Uh, she's a little pink face too. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's Pikun. Meanwhile, Sasami looked considerably out of her element as a loud music blood over her head. Sure, she's just not spaced out. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I seem to have gotten a little bit drunk there, Bruce Son. <laughs> Don't you know? At the very far side of the spectrum, it looks like Mika was already passed out drunk on the table. Her face completely obscured by her messy hair. <laughs> What's her story? Ah, uh, found mine here. She took two drinks in the past out. <laughs> well, I mean, if she gets farther than Doc Brown does, takes one shot. Flat on the ground. Great Scott! Anyways, it's not like any of you guys even invited me. I had no clue where I was even supposed to be here. Huh? Of course you were! Oh, okay. You're a producer, aren't you? Uh oh. The Yandere is drunk. Well, the blackout Yandere. I think that's even scarier. Whenever that flip gets switched, Jesus. I wonder if the Yandere side gets drunk too. I don't want to see that though, please no. Ma, what is the sign? There's no need to be a tsundere. Here, take a seat. And then we're bad at the empty space next to her at the table. Uh-oh. Oh, unfair. I want to say this to Oni-chan. No, no. Pico's is next to me. <laughs> Kitty face. <laughs> Maria sighed and rolled her eyes to the girl's enthusiasm. You're going to be that man with the bitches on his left arm and his right, producer. Ah, uh, what a Robongi stereotype. Oi, oi. <laughs> Fuck everything. With that, Maria poured a glass of sake down her throat. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah, you guys better not be playing me to get picked the center again. It was such a pain last time. It only drowned in the hot springs, you know. <laughs> Truly came back from the bar, beers in hand. Eh? That? Don't worry, we're all cool about that now. We're all sisters, no matter who gets chosen the center. Even if Julie chances super bitches are Nova, eh? No, I shut your brat trap shit, Lolly. <laughs> Anyways, drink, drink, it's a party. Julie had me a glass of beer. Well, I wasn't gonna uh, pass on a perfectly good beer. Did a few things to beat a cold brewski on a hot summer night. Or just in general, but yeah. Well, especially after a long, hot day's work. <laughs> yeah, then it's quite refreshing. Well, I don't know if refreshing is the right word, it's just kind of soothing. Here I was, invited by Seven Idols for a party at, Roppongi night at a Roppongi night club. By any metric, most people consider me a lucky guy. And you're going... Well, I, I, I kind of know what direction, but how exactly are you going to phrase this? Indeed, some men join in this industry to get close to an idol and then walk down the proverbial aisle with her once she retires. Enough idols have gotten married to their producers for me to know that such a thing was within the realm of possibility. Am I talking too fast? I might be. I don't know. But despite that, I was a producer because I loved idols. Not just as a man, but as an ideal. <laughs> what the fuck? My dream was to create Japan's number one idol unit. Getting an idol as a wife wasn't germane to my objectives. <clears throat> but with that said, yes, with that weirdness out of the way, who wouldn't want to be surrounded by a bunch of hot women in a nightclub? My situation lifted my spirits, motivating me to drink more than usual. <laughs> lifted my spirits, and I lifted my spirits as well. Although beer isn't really up to whatever. The world spun around me as loud music played overhead, and I'm surprised it didn't make me go through all three of those. Maria slammed her aunt team shot of sake down the table. Now she's just gonna hate life more and more. Every drink she takes, she just gets closer and closer to existential nihilism. Nah, everyone. What? 
I'm gonna teach you some shit. Listen to your senpai's life advice. Life advice. <laughs> yeah, because we've been taking advice from the drunk. Okay, come on, chronic alcohol. What's up? <laughs> it's ought to be good. In this business, you always need an escape plan. Honestly, you never know when everything's just going to ride down the shitter. <laughs> everything's going all fine. You're the public sweetheart one moment, and then pow! The beer Oda starts one little room about Sean's blog, and inside of the whole world's turned against in the blink of an eye. Kashiwagi, oh where's your escape hatch if that happens? <laughs> I'll let Rinchan take care of me. Uh, not even fucking happening. Ah, you wrap yourself around my arm. I flailed like a fucking chicken trying to get out of the coop. Get off! Free my- Free me! <laughs> Be gone, devil Ollie. Ollie, stop it! I face palm. Dark. <laughs> All of Maria's opinions are so dark, eh? T terrible. Well, I'm not saying yeah, I would do something like that. Well, no parachutes fail proof. Watanabe, it's your parachute. Uh, it, it, me? Don't say escort work. <laughs> Close to fucking enough. <laughs> Maybe I'll just become an AV idol. I both face palmed and shook my head. You. Any plan is valid, so long as there is a plan. <laughs> uh, Agamoto, what's your. Nemo, nemo. Actually, screw you to your rich family. <laughs> Next. Oh, Nemo Nemo. I don't fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, though, what you would have said, though. Would you have gone with the whole... I don't think you would have been like, Oh, my family's rich. Ha ha tee hee. Shimazaki. Hi. Yes. It's you I'm worried about the most. Always trusting everyone and repeating, I'll do my best like some wind-up doll. She's sweet and impressionable. If you keep that up, it'll be you who's forced doing AV before any of us. Eh? No way! Maria spoke on in a dead serious manner, pounding her fist on the table. Don't go scaring the innocent one. That's why you always need a golden parachute. A golden parachute! You're putting bad thoughts in her head. You're being a bad senpai. Don't do that. Well, uh, I can always go back to waitressing at my parents' bar. Naive! When shit hits an idol, shit splatters absolutely everywhere. You really, really want your troubles to follow you to your family's business? What if a crazy fan vandalizes your bar? Or any threatening messages in the voicemail? What do you do then, huh? <laughs> eh, eh? They can do that? <laughs> you for real? I don't know what to do with you. Uh, um... Moria bored lays into the sasami with her eyes. Eh... I put my arm over the sasami before Maria made her cry. <laughs> Oi, that's not what you think. Oh, you're just scaring your kohai, Maria. I'm just trying to help her for crying out loud. <laughs> In a world full of nothing but shitty years, you always need to have an escape hatch handy. Or, you know, just don't do anything which might spark a scandal in the first place. Scandal may not be the only thing that kicks you out of the industry, though. It is good to have some kind of a backup plan. Pretty sounds right. As long as we do our best, I'm sure our fans will continue to support us. More you do our best, eh? Well, her work ethic is there, but... I mean, yeah, that, that, that's there, sure. <laughs> so the bottom line is basically... And make producers on Lovey Dovey with you, so that if anything happens, we'll take care of you when you're no longer an idol. <laughs> no! Sure sounds like it. Oh god, not you too, a hoge. Oh, you can play your cards, right? Make a billion yen while you're idling and then retire from all your work in your mid 20s. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh. Many idols still pursue successful careers even after they're retired. So there's no need to trick produce on to do, uh, do anything perverted. Isn't that what produces on? Yeah. I don't know if she was. <laughs> okay, first off, I just noticed she was curling her. Has she ever done? They ever you? Well, she's all blush. She's I don't. I get. I don't think so. That's cute though. She's just kind of winding her hair around her finger. Yeah. I also just wanted to hear that again. <laughs> Suddenly, Mika shot up from her comatose slumber. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Mika, calm down. You're still in the room of the living. So you on the confusion. What, what manner dark dungeon is this? Could I have been taken for capture with the army of the light? Is this where the unbelievable age events will unfold? Okay, calm down, darkness. There's no need to be all... <laughs> like... 
But it is, uh, orcs are the enemy of all female knights. <laughs> what do you mean there are no more male orcs? Uh. <laughs> oh, Mika-chan. Maria shook her head. I take back what I said about Sasa-chan. It's actually Mika who I'm worried about the most. There you go, yes. All it took was her opening her mouth. Figures. That's just how Chunichan is, huh? How's the former Shedden like her ever gonna survive in the animal business? Well, she has you guys to watch over her, right? Are you for real? It's gonna take a small miracle for her to become an idol. Well, at least we know she won't get caught in a sex scandal, unlike a certain other super bitch. I know something very unfortunate happens, because she does seem to be easily pressured. Oi, shut your trap, shit lolly. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't be so sure about that. It's always the quiet ones going to have the freaky fetishes. That's an unfair stereotype, but it's not its not a stereotype for nothing. Uh, you... Also, who... Uh, Black Knight, who did you have this Black Pit? Could it be that you have come to rescue this one? Uh, they actually have been here for quite a while now. Looks like you had too much fun before I arrived and, um, passed out. <laughs> You imbibe too strong a potion. Indeed, th the elixirs of the blonde witch were of a stronger root than I dissipated. <laughs> but, but they were a more pleasant concoction than the sake I tried before. Mika suddenly noticed the other rather drunk-looking girls gathered on the table. Ah, could it be the others have fallen victim to the elixir as well? Looks like it, but not as bad as you. Uh, except Aki-chan. She's just having a sugar rush from drinking too much juice. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Just dunk your head in the sand. Ah oh, yes, all she was drinking was fruit juice. I've seen no underage drinking occurring here. Nope. Just then, Julie came back to the table holding a pair of bright blue drinks. Thanks for waiting. I got another one of the ones you like, Nikachan. Mm -hmm. Thank you, blonde witch. <laughs> oh, Mika's absolutely gone. She's just... Mika's sipping the drink to a straw. <laughs> the sublime taste, and yet... Its effects are so pronounced. Mika's face flushed pink as the blue liquid gradually disappeared from her glass. Don't drink it that fa- Oh, for fuck. Never mind. She closed her eyes in contentment. You're going to experience... Well, probably the first ever hangover of your life. And then you'll never drink again. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe. She closed her eyes in contentment. <laughs> I can learn to like this dungeon. Stop calling it a dungeon. Stop calling it a dungeon. Mika suddenly buried her head into my lap. Okay. No, 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 Put me in your lap, lest I fall off. Ah, uh, losing your balance with just three drinks. What an amateur. And the world's gonna still be spinning when you wake up in the morning. And then you throw up. Ugh. Oh, hey, Mika. I ride at Mika before anyone got the wrong idea. Only to have her limply rest her head on my shoulder. Well, shoulder is better than lap. Markedly better, actually. Ooh, but perhaps adult society has some redeeming things. Oh god. I give up. I can't even think of a golden parachute with this one. I guess you'll just have to go back to being a shut-in once the idol thing falls apart. <laughs> Chuni Chan is a human failure after all. I guess some people really do fall hard after being an idol. Boy, don't look gang up on Mika Chan. Drew let her along sign through her hands up. And yet men love these kinds of characters, huh? Tell me about it. Guys are going nuts over weak and hopeless girls they have to protect ever since the formation of modern day Akiba. That's too true, honestly, yes. <laughs> it's not until after marriage that you realize you've hitched up with nothing but trash. Ooh, that's a bit harsh, though. You guys, the alcohol kept flowing as we continued to fool around. Quote, unquote. By the time we left the establishment, not a sober soul remained in our group, well, except Aki, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all except Aki, of course, obviously. Onikyan, take me home with you. <laughs> wow, Julie must have drunk a lot of fruit juice to be saying all these outrageous things, even hiccuping. Not Aki. <laughs> oh, golly gee. 
Meanwhile, Sasani was holding Mika up as she, as she flailed her arms about. Are you trying to cast spells? <laughs> oh, Black Knight. The world sways so. This can only be the work of an enemy area of effect. Earthquake spell. To top everything off, Julie was wrapped around Maria with an unbelievably horny expression on her face. Um, no, no, sorry, I was um, distracted by my phone. <clears throat> that was a fun day, Maria. Let's go somewhere else. Very poor choice of spelling. Despite being drunk myself, I still remembered that I was supposed to be everyone's producer. Oi, Maria, you better take Julie straight home before she gets in trouble. All right, all right. What's it, John? Are you going to, uh, all right, getting Mika home? Y yes, I'll do my best. Don't let her get away from you. <laughs> last one I want is, is the Chuni lose some on the town while she's drunk. As usual, Sasami gave her trademark response. Nemo, Nemo, make sure Aki gets home. John, you're gonna be alright by yourself. Roger, all lights are still green. <laughs> Dude, Maria, you don't want to go karaoke or something? Sorry, but I'm the general manager now. I'm taking you home to recuperate. I threw my hands into the air, deciding that was my cue to, that was my cue to get out of here. All right, everyone, stay safe. Don't go fucking anyone that you've well, I mean, within reason, of course. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Oh, and happy birthday. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Julie threw her hands in the air as Maria escorted her away. Uh-oh. Do I do my first afternoon? Well... I'm going to cut the episode here because it went on for a bit longer than I wanted it to. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.